please work. Am I live? <gasps> okay. I hope this works. Internet's not super awesome up here. Okay. <coughs> Let's hope it shows up. Let's see. Nobody's here yet. Does it show for you, Jimmy? I just. I didn't know. I have one person. Let's see. Give everybody a minute. Should I put the link on Facebook, you think? You'll do it for me? If you guys can hear me, go ahead and like say hi. Hi! Okay, good, it works. Because I'm kind of up in the attic area. Hi, Linda. <laughs> I'm up in the attic where internet's not awesome. So I'm really hoping you guys can hear me and see me okay. So excited. Hey, Tori. Hi. Natalie, hey. I'm so excited. Hey, guys. Okay. So tell me if you can hear me okay. I'm kind of sick. I, I, thanks, Tori. I feel a little better. Makeup helps. <laughs> I have not felt very good. Oh, hi, Heidi. Yeah, I've been super sick, you guys. So um, definitely let me know if you can hear me okay, if you can see me. Okay, good. Oh, no, you're sick too? I'm sorry, Natalie. That's awful. Well, I kind of blame it on Jimmy's making fun of me lately because I kind of blame it all on the um, TSA bins at the airport. <laughs> I swear they are like breeding ground for the plague. So I'm just, I'm convinced that's where I got whatever funk this is. So I'm excited you guys are here. I'll give it another second. See if anybody else is going to join us here. Yay. I think Jimmy's posting it on Facebook for me with the link. He's behind me. Go say hi, Jimmy. Hi. I'm <laughs> he's, he's helping me out. He's my, he's my behind the scenes guy. Um, hello. So cool. Well, I'm excited you guys are here. This is my first like women Wednesday. I thought this would be really fun. I even had some guys ask if they can listen and they can. Like, we're not going to be those haters, right? We're not going to be the, you know, what was it from? Did you guys ever watch that movie? Was it Little Rascals? Where they have like a He-Man he Woman Haters Club? We're not going to be like that. We're not going to be those girls. But um, we went to Vegas. <clears throat> As a lot of you guys know, we were in Vegas. Oh, hi from the land down under. Hey, I want to visit your area. That's cool. Um, we went to Las Vegas this last week, and we went to the um, Travel Goods Association show. And it was probably the most surprising show and event that we've ever gone to, just simply because it was so huge. And we didn't realize. Um, oh, she's, oh, Jessica, you're going to Vegas next week. Bring your hand sanitizer <laughs> so you don't sound like me when you get home. But um, Basically, they had so much cool stuff that for the first Women Wednesday, I really wanted to show you guys some things because I am obsessed. I mean, obsessed with some stuff that I saw there that like, I think it's genius. It's absolutely genius. Some of the stuff some people have come up with for travel. And one thing that I actually kind of, I felt really good about was that they are starting to recognize women more. Hi, mom. Um, they're starting to recognize women more in travel, which is really kind of amazing because before it's kind of been, I guess travel's kind of been like a guy's club. I don't really know why. I don't know if it's one of those things they don't think it's safe for us to travel by ourselves. I don't know. Or even with somebody, but a kind of general like undertone of what I saw at the show was stuff for women and things to attract women and things that definitely stand out to make our lives easier in travel. So that to me is super, super exciting. So I have 10 things. I have physically nine of them. One of them I don't have, but I'm actually going to reach out to the owner of the company because I missed her at the show. And I think if I would have had her product, I would not be sick right now. So I'm really excited to reach out to her and see what I can do with her for you because her product's incredible and it helps you stay healthy. And so I don't physically have hers to show you, but I do kind of physically have everything else to show you. So. And feel free in the comments um, over on the side in the chat box, feel free to ask me any questions 
um, that you guys have. So I'm more than happy to answer all of that. I'm so excited. This is so much fun. Okay, so I'm going to do my very, very favorite thing last because it also happens to be the thing that I'm going to give away. And I'll give you guys all of the information for the giveaway at the end because trust me, you want this. It's that cool. So I'm going to start with this is actually from a company called Mixology. Now, I saw this and my mom, she's here, so I'm just going to out her. Um, she is essential oil obsessed. Like she is the like essential oil witch queen. Like she knows the remedies to everything. She's part of why I'm getting better fast because I'm doing all of the voodoo things she tells me to do. Well, this woman actually has the coolest like little, they're alcohol free and they're perfumes. But what's really cool about these perfumes is that you can layer them. So she has like 15 of these and they all are all natural. Um, they don't have all the fillers. They're alcohol free. <laughs> My mom, who me? Yes. Um, but what's cool about these is you can layer them. So they also have them in these adorable, like little mini ones. that are about the size of the cap. Like they're super tiny. They're really cool. So she gave me one which I'm really excited about. I kind of lingered around long enough so she would because I wanted one to show you guys. But um, they have different scents. But what's really cool about it is like if you want to make your own perfume or you want to have your own kind of signature scent, but you don't want to spend the fortunes that it costs to like go make your own perfume, you can do this with these. So you basically just layer it on. So you pick like you have rose. This is kind of a spicier blend. It's called Charmed. But that's what's so cool about it is I asked her. I said, all right, let's be super honest what are the bad like combinations? What are the combinations that smell really, really, really bad? And she said, there's not one that they've tried every possible combination. They've tried to make it smell bad and it doesn't. And so I was like, awesome. I will have your card now because I love this. And I like that they have the little tiny one and it comes in a little box about the size of your cell phone that, um, you can totally take with you and it's light and I love it. So I thought genius. I don't have to worry about carrying perfume with me. I can have these cute little roller balls and it's awesome. So I love this. Her name is Mixology. She's actually a Texas company. So I was really excited about her for this too. Um, just some, Oh, hi Stephanie. Just simply because, you know, I got to support my other Texas women. So I love, love, love this. I thought you guys would love it too. I'm going to contact her as well because I'd really love to reach out to her to do something for all of you ladies. So you guys can get your hands on some of this at a discount maybe. So I'll reach out to her with that, but it's amazing. Sinista, what was your favorite country to visit? And did you ever feel unsafe or unwelcome? I remember the vlog with the Airbnb full of bugs and was disgusting it made me itch watching it. Actually, my favorite country, I think we visited, I have like a top three. My favorite country would probably be Indonesia. Bali was a big one for me. Um, I don't think I ever really felt unsafe. Um, well, that's not true. I felt a little unsafe at times in Sri Lanka. Um, I think that's the only place I felt a little skittish just because they don't allow women, local women to walk alone there. And so there were a couple of times and instances where I felt a little icky, um, but that was the only, it wasn't the whole time. It was, it was rare, but I think that's the only country I'd say I felt a little kind of nervous. Um, Natalie, your mom and my mother-in-law are the same person. <laughs> yes, they are. But I'm obsessed with essential oils because of my mother. And so because of that, I, um, because of that, I, I love them too. So I can't really fault her. They're my favorite thing now, too. And I'm going to do a Women Wednesday all about essential oils just because, man, I buy it. You know, like, I buy the hype. So, <clears throat> pardon me. I'm still getting over this, like, crazy sickness. All right. So, we're going to do my second favorite item. So this is really, really cool. Now we saw a lot of different kinds of like locks or TSA stuff and all of that kind of thing while we were in, while we were in the show. And there were some that we're going to do like a top 10 video on from all of the show, but this one I want to show you guys because it is so freaking cute. I'm going to try to get close enough to where you guys can kind of see. So tell me if you can see. Oh, you can. Do you see that? So instead of it having numbers, it has little icons. Can we please agree how adorable this thing is? 
It has like a wedding dress. It's got rings. It's got bikinis. Oh my gosh. Eyelashes, a champagne bottle. I thought this was so cute. And I think that this is totally a girly thing because what man do you know wants a combination lock with lips and a wedding dress and an engagement ring on it, right? So I thought this was really super cute. I love, like we, like they gave us one of these in our PR kit and I actually asked for a second one because I feel like it's one of those amazing kind of cool things that maybe we can give away at some point so I thought that was just so cute and it's kind of girly colors like pink and green it just it fits the ladies and I just absolutely loved it um let's see hey from Australia well Bali at the moment I'm jealous Jackie that's not fair Oh, <laughs> what are you saying to me? I'll talk, I'll talk to that. You put that. Oh, Jimmy's talking to me because of my hoarse voice. I need to put a microphone on. So hang on one second. Pause. <laughs> I have to put the microphone up my shirt. You'll hang on. Nobody needs to see that on the internet, right? Okay. Can you guys hear me better? I hope that helps. Okay. There we go. <laughs> they said hi, Jimmy. Felisa. That's cool. Felisa went on the cruise. Does love her. Darn, I just got the locks for my trip in Thailand in two weeks. Oh, no, Natalie. I'm so sorry. I thought these were so cool. We should have gone. They should have done the show sooner. But <laughs> Jackie waves back, Jimmy. Um, but I thought these were too super cute. I thought, you know, this is just genius for someone who doesn't want the boring number combination lock. So I love that. Now, <clears throat> in terms of six, you guys. So I feel better than I have the last couple of days. Let's be super real. It's been bad. Ash. Oh, hi, Ash. Oh, somebody said hi and Ty. Hello. Um, sweaty tap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, he said hello and Ty. But for women, actually, if you guys don't know, to say hello and Ty, you say Saudi ka. He says hello and Ty. Guys say ka, girls say ka. So fun fact. Um, these little kits like safety kits that you can take with you on your on your flight so it's called plane it's safe now the guy kind of threw this at me as i, as I walked by at the show because when i tell you guys there's a million vendors there were a million vendors there to talk to but i got this home and i started looking at it and i kind of got obsessed because especially after this trip getting sick i am even weirder about cleanliness so what's inside of here is they give you tissues which are amazing hand sanitizer my mom's gonna balk at this because she loves the thieves hand sanitizer but this smells really good antibacterial it's better than nothing and then i thought this is my favorite thing it has shoe covers so like if you have to go to the bathroom you can cover your feet with these like little shoe covers love it and then these are actually safety and hygiene like wet wipes so you can like wipe down your seat or like your tray table or your window or any of that where all of the germs live. I thought that was really cool. And then they have like the face masks kind of put over your face to help keep all the germs away. This is also probably an Asian thing. That's the reason why I'm not super weirded out by that. But it honestly, you guys, it helps. So I thought this was really cool. It was one of those sort of kits that I saw that I thought was absolutely genius where it's tiny, it's kind of TSA sort of size and it has everything you need inside of it. And the only thing that's actually liquid is your hand sanitizer because as you know, you can't carry on liquids over three ounces, but this is one ounce. So you can take that with you. Amazing. Natalie, yes, please. I have a 19 hour direct flight. Oh my gosh. New York to Singapore. Yes, girlfriend, you need this or something similar to it. You can make your own. Like if you can't, get a hold of this exact thing. You can basically take these products and make your own. Check out, I'll put in the description after I'm finished with the live, I'll do where I get the WYSIWY wipes that I love so much that I traveled Asia that are the little tiny, um, I'll put those in there for you too. So you can get those because I never leave home without them anymore. So, and they're so tiny, easy to travel with. So this was really cool. I thought that was one thing that us ladies would really appreciate. Let's see. What's the next thing? Oh, Okay. In keeping with the travel pack, there were a lot of people that kind of did the sort of compact sort of 
travel kits. They had like a bathroom kit. They had this travel safety kit. And then they had a guy who, <laughs> I don't, we don't really cuss on our channel, so I can't really tell you what it was called, but it's a poop kit, but the other word. Um, and he had like potty kits and all kinds of stuff. But what he had for hey, the you ladies. Say, you say the first word, the first half. Huh? What was the first half? The first half of the word? Yeah. I said it's like, you know, the other word for poop. I didn't want to say it on here. What was the first half? The first, uh, no, I'm not going to say it. You're trying to get me to say it. He's trying to get me to say it. He's trying to get me to cuss on the channel. Um, but one pack that they had, you guys, that I flipped out about was, do you see that? A period pack. Now, can I please say, talking to a guy who has never had to live with this in his entire life was really entertaining because he said this was his wife's idea was to create a period pack. <laughs> and I kind of laughed. I'm like, your wife's a genius. Because who has never been stuck somewhere where they needed all of the essentials and Aunt Flo decided to surprise us? It happens. So in here is a tampon, a panty liner, wet, wet, wet wipes, hand wipes, hand sanitizer, pain reliever, my doll, and a stain remover. I thought it was genius. I'm going to open it. Jimmy's telling me to open it. What if I need the period pack someday and I want to all put together? I have tape. You have tape. Do you have scissors, too? <laughs> Don't throw scissors at me, but do you have scissors, too? I kind of like having him as an assistant in the background. This is the only time I can tell him what to do, and he doesn't get mad. It's become your like, producer or road or something. Ah, roadie. I like that better than producer, because then producer tells me what to do. Okay. I'm going to open it up and show you guys what's in here. No, I just read it. But they did it in a really genius sort of way. All right. So, got your tampon. And this is your feminine wife. But I like because it did it all compact. It's so cool. Oh, Natalie, they did not have these this cool stuff at the New York City Travel Show. Well, these are all the new products. This is like the one for the country where they like release all the new stuff. So um, instant hand sanitizer. Like how cool is that? And then <laughs> cramps tabs. I asked him what it was and he said it's basically my all. And then moist towelette, your panty liner, and a shout wipe to go. So cool. I thought it was just genius. And he said it's because his wife got stuck somewhere where she got a surprise she didn't want and she had to figure it out. So uh, that was really awesome. The period pack. They had tons of them. People who do a lot of camping. That's not me. So I just thought the period pack was kind of cool. So the next thing is this. We went to, have any of you ever heard of a company called Travelon? They do a lot of safety stuff. And I found that that was Along with kind of incorporating things for women, safety was definitely sort of an underlying tone of the entire show. So they have like RFID wallets and they have all kinds of stuff. They also have backpacks that have slash proof, you know, hand, like straps for your backpack. They have um, meshing where if somebody tries to slash the front of your backpack, they can't actually get anything out of it. And then all of the pockets are actually RFID safety. So I thought that was really awesome. Well, the backpack that I carried most of last year, the gray one was actually a travel on backpack. That was a safety backpack. So this is from the same company. I loved this because it's beautiful. Gray is becoming one of my new favorite colors. I know it's kind of boring. I used to be fluorescent pink and glitter, but I'm kind of loving the neutrals. Um, but this is really cool. So this is one of those like wallets to hold all of your stuff. And it's the RFID in all the pockets because people can also steal your information on your passport. Did you guys know that? Like if somebody tries to steal your information out of your wallet, they can also steal your information off of your passport. And you have tons of information on your passport. That to me is absolutely terrifying. So I like the idea of being able to put my passport somewhere. The only issue is TSA and people that not TSA, but like, Customs, they hate, absolutely hate it when you have a cover on your passport. They hate that. So it, they make you take it off if you're going through customs like that because they want just your regular passport. What's cool about this is you can fit your entire passport down in here. So you don't have to put one of those cute cases that we all love. Um, it won't fit in here, but your regular passport will. So you just stick it down in there. You can put your tickets. You can put any other information. And they even have little mini pockets where you can put like your... You know, if you have a card, do you have anything else that you want to stick in here? And there's a zipper pocket. 
I thought this was really cool. I feel like only us ladies would really appreciate this because let's be real. When we're all traveling, we're the ones carrying everybody's stuff. And so this is one of those that's going to make it so much easier, especially if you're a mom and you have tickets and passports and for the kids and for your husband and for you, like just too much stuff, you know, drop everywhere and it's embarrassing. So there you go. I thought this was amazing. Travel is a great brand. They've really proven to help with safety and, and their products are incredible. So they're also going to be in our top 10 kind of favorites because we spent some time with them looking through everything. I had to pick up all the stuff. Like it was pretty awesome. So I loved this. Isn't that super cute? Like sleek. The size of most people's wallets. That's what I loved about it. It's not super bulky. Can you drink water? I'm so excited you guys are here. This is really fun. All right. Now, I'm not a big luggage tag person. Mostly because I can't ever find luggage tags that I think are cute. A lot of the time, the luggage tags, I feel like they're kind of masculine. Either that or they're kind of kitschy. I can't ever figure it out. And this might be a little kitschy, but I think it's adorable kitschy. So these are luggage tags by a company called G-Force. Now, um... Tell me, this is not the cutest flamingo you've ever seen in your entire life. Like, how cute is she? And then you put your information in the back. I just, I love her. I don't know why. I, I saw this and I was like, okay, that luggage tag I would 100% use. Like, she's just so cute with her little legs. And they also have a unicorn. Like, I'm dying. And then she's so cute. Stuff on the back. But I just thought it was so much fun. Like, because... I hate it when you go to the airport and you're trying to pick your bags up and your bag looks just like everybody else's bag. And I feel like if you put a flamingo on your bag, she's not going to look like everybody else's, right? Oh, how funny. Carrie, I love that. I have a strawberry shopkin on my work bag. That's amazing. Uh, Linda, the flamingo. She's fluffy, right? And she's so soft. Like, I should take her out of the packaging, but look how fat she is. Like, that's part of why I love her is that she's curvy and kind of chubby. I don't know. I love it. I think she's so cute. And she has eyelashes. Can you guys see that? Like, she's even got the mascara on point and everything. So I thought she was really super cute. We didn't get to really visit with this company much, but they do, like, um, anti-leak bags and a lot of those kind of accessory items for you to travel with. But <laughs> the Flamingo, she stood out. I loved her. All right. Now, in terms of safety, I want to tell you, this is the product that I actually don't have to show you, and I'm dying because I wish I did. So there is a company called The Barrier Method, and this girl stuff was beautiful. So now we all like scarves and things like that. Unless you live in Texas, then it doesn't get cold enough for you to enjoy it whatsoever. But she has scarves that actually go up over your face and around your ears, and you can wrap it around your neck. So it looks like you have a scarf on, but it looks like you just have it up here. And it is the most beautiful, <laughs> Tori, she'd fall off the bag if I saw her. This is why I didn't show her to you because I knew you'd steal her. Um, my Sharon, hi. So her, her barrier method is amazing because it's just, it's so like feminine and the material she uses is so light and pretty and the prints are really super girly that I just die. She's from Hawaii. But I loved her stuff because she got sick and tired of getting sick on flights and all of that. And so she created this to where you just put it over your face and it kind of keeps all those germs away from you. It also keeps you from touching your face because I'm guilty of that, like touching all the dirty surfaces and then like you scratch your face or you move your hair and you end up touching your face around your mouth with really dirty hands that God knows who sat there before you or what, that you end up getting sick like me. So I thought her stuff was so cute. She's one that I want to reach out to because I didn't get to spend a lot of time with her at the show. I got to see what she had, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. And the first thing I told Jimmy when we got home was I really needed her scarf thing or I probably wouldn't be this sick. So really awesome. I wish I had one to show you guys, but I'll put the link in the description so you guys can go check her out because they're beautiful. Like they're fashionable. A lot of the time when you see stuff like that, you feel like you're just going to be some weird like making a spectacle of yourself where everybody sees you and you look kind of like a freak of nature, but they're really beautiful. And because of the colors, it kind of makes your eyes pop out. So it's almost like really flattering. It was really kind of interesting. They're super cute. I'll link it. Plus I want one too. So, all right. Now this lady, these are called blisslets. Now I suffer, I know this may sound really weird, but I suffer from motion sickness. 
I kind of always have. I don't know if you guys have trouble with motion sickness or not. Like if you're in a car or on a cruise ship or on an airplane, like let me know if you guys have issues with motion sickness because it makes me feel better to not be the only one. But um, this lady, she's actually also a Texas company. She's in the Dallas area and they're called Blisslets. Now, I love these. She's so nice. This lady, I spent some time visiting with her. She is the nicest person. But what she's done is when she was pregnant, she had a lot of trouble. I love air turbulence. Rocks me to sleep. Stephanie, you're lucky because it used to make me really super sick. I don't get a sick on airplanes, but cars and cruise ships, I'm done for. Um, so she actually created this company when she was pregnant because she was having really a lot of trouble with motion sickness and she wore the, I call them sweatbands, um, that people <laughs> wear when they like the pressure points for acupuncture that people wear when they go on a cruise. She was wearing those and somebody noticed at work and kind of called her out and, um, they outed her for being pregnant before she wanted to announce it, which is really disappointing, right? Carrie, sometimes I feel sick on Mountain Drive, especially if it's warm. Oh, oh my God. The, the, this? Oh no, I can't do it either. Like, it doesn't matter if it's warm or cold. I'm sick as can be if I'm on a curvy road like that. I'm with you there. But, um, so she created these. They're called blisslets. And now they are the exact same sort of idea where inside of them, they have this little, like acupuncture thing, but they look like real bracelets. Like they look like actual jewelry, which I thought was so cool. I love that because I mean, I don't want to look like I'm sweating to the eighties to like wear one of those, you know, it's just not cute. And I never knew why nobody came up with something cuter, right? So much cuter. Carrie, they're cuter than the other bands. They are. These are two that she had, but she has like gold ones and silver ones. She has tons of them and all these different sort of um, materials. And um, she has big leather ones. So like if your husband or your boyfriend or your brother or uncle or whoever wants something a little more manly, but they have the same problem. Um, she also has some for guys. So I thought these were so neat. And she has like a little emblem and like a cute little bee where it looks almost like a little jewel. I just love these. And she was so nice. She was the nicest person ever. So I love these. I thought these were awesome for women. She has the instructions and everything on like how you put them on just three fingers and you put them in there. I thought these were awesome. This was a standout thing for me. And she's a relatively new company. So I thought those were cool. <laughs> Mom, love those. I knew you would. You may or may not get one of these. If you're really nice to me, mom, I may give you one, maybe. But um, no, she was awesome. I actually told her, mom, I was like, my mother is going to obsess over this because she gets sick on cruise ships. <laughs> so this will help you if your essential oil doesn't do the trick. Two more things. And then you can ask me questions or I'll leave you alone, whichever you prefer. Love it. Thanks for sharing. Is there any way to purchase them? Yes, Holly. I will put the links in the descriptions below. Um, when I'm finished with the live, I'll update the description and I'll put links to all of this stuff in there for you guys. Some of them, they have Amazon links, some of them they don't. So give me just a second so I can actually get all 10 items, you know, put in there for you in the description. So give me about an hour after we're done with the live event and go back and check and the links will be in there for you. I want you guys to be able to get them if you're interested in them because I'm obsessed. I'm not getting any money. They're not paying me for it. These are just things that I really, really loved that I thought was worthy to tell you guys about. My mom, do you wear two? I have the ugly ones and you have to wear two. I know you have the ugly ones. You do have to, she said you don't have to wear two, but it's advised to wear two. So we'll see. Maybe I'll give you both of mine. Probably not. I'll call her. But, um, Felisa, either get those for Maddie for the next cruise. Yes. Oh my gosh. Felisa and Maddie went with us on the group cruise and poor Maddie got so sick. We had, oh, poor thing. We went and got her one of the little patches from our room and gave it to her because her motion sickness was so bad. Bless her heart. She had so much trouble. I hope she's doing okay. Uh, Felisa, tell her I said hi. So, okay. Second to last thing. You guys, this is the cute. So this is called a bendy man. <laughs> Now, he actually bends like Gumby. I'm aging myself, but he bends like Gumby. Like, he does all these kind of crazy things. And what's also really kind of cool about him, I'm going to blind you for a second, is that the back of his head, he has a little switch. He let his eyes light up. Oh, I can't. There you go. His eyes light up. So he also kind of doubles as a flashlight. 
But what's really cool about him is that on the back of like what he came in, you can put him on the back of um, like the tray table in front of you. You can put his legs over it and he'll actually hold it. Like you put him upside down like this and you bend his legs over the top and he holds your phone with his arms. <laughs> And you can also set your phone up with him. He gets good for your tablet. He's good for papers. Um, he's good for a flashlight. He'll also hold your keys. Like if you do his little arm up, he'll hold your keys. And he does cords and hooks. So he, you can basically bend him any way you want to bend him. And he can hold all kinds of stuff. And I just, he's my super, super favorite. I thought he was so cute. This is from a company called um, Walter and Ray. So they are... They're the nicest people. Like, I was so shocked at how sweet these people were and actually won a messenger bag with this particular company. And so just by, like, accident. And so they gave Bindi Mans away. Well, Jimmy stole my messenger bag because he thinks it looks more manly. So I traded it in for pink Bindi Man. I thought I should get my consolation prize. But I think he's really cool. I can't wait to use him. So I'm excited about the Bindi Man. He's awesome. Also, can't wait to show you guys some other stuff that Walter and Ray has because it's kind of amazing. So, the last thing is my favorite thing. I've also used this. So, I've also used this. But first, you want me to do the other one first? Your boy. Okay. Sorry. Jimmy's... My son would love the Bindi Man. He comes in other colors. He comes in, like, green and gray and yellow and... All of that. So he comes in other colors. So what I'm going to do is before I show you the product that I'm actually going to give away, which is my super, uber, super favorite. I'm going to actually give away one other thing that I already showed you guys. So I want to give away. Where'd it go? I set it down. <clears throat> what was this? Oh. You're making this very difficult for Oops. me back there. Peanut That's gallery. The that I said Ladies, sometimes this is why we kick them in another room. I'm just kidding. Okay, so. Going off script here. <laughs> going off script. Like, that's a shock. So, okay. So, one of the items that I already showed you guys is what I want to give away. Now, in addition to my obsessive favorite Uber favorite thing. Now, the favorite thing I'm not going to give away live. So, we'll have rules and everything for that one that I'll talk about in just a second. But, if you guys, Natalie, pick me, pick me, fire the producer, right? I think this is because it was my face. He's, he's giving me face from behind the camera. The best part is, is you he, can't. The producer's pretty cheap. <laughs> the, the producer is cheap. He is cheap. He's not totally free. <laughs> Might have to go to commercial. Natalie Sass. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. See, it's because it's my first live by myself. He was like, I'll be there to support you. Now I feel like I've got this and now he's being sassy. But okay, in the, the chat box over there, if you guys can remember the second item that I showed you, what was the second thing that I showed you that we that I love and that a few of you mentioned that you really liked? If you be the first person to tell me in the chat box what that second item was, I'll ship it to you. So let's see who remembers. Who remembers what the second thing was? Oh, man. <laughs> Linda's quick. Yeah, she got it. It's the lock. Oh, no, Carrie, I'm so sorry. She missed the beginning. Oh, man, I'm sorry. It was a three-way tie. It was Linda, Felisa, and Natalie. So I'm sorry, Jackie. She missed the start, too. You guys. Follow us on Facebook because I always give you the times that we're going to start. And I always start on time. Poor Felicia it said lunch. Oh, no. Oh, I saw the lock. Oh, well, thank you guys for trying. So, Linda, I'm going to send this to you. You get the lock. You're absolutely right. The super cute one. Love it, love it. So, I may have more of these. You guys don't know. You'll have to come and watch anytime I do a live event because I'll give stuff away. And I kind of like doing live events, so I may do this a little more than I do recorded stuff just because I think it's fun. So, I'll send this to you, Linda. I've got tons of stuff, you guys, to give away because that was our main purpose in the show. Like anything that we found a comment that we like a, a product we really loved, we we're like, can I have one of these to give away to our viewers? And people were super generous by giving us stuff to give to you. So we've got tons and tons of stuff. So this is yours, Linda. My producer in the back has taken your name down and we'll ship this out to you. So send us a private message on Facebook with your address and I'll make sure you get it. So. Shall I, I shall hand to my producer now. 
<laughs> really. Can't live with or without them, can you, ladies? Thank you so much. I love it. Yay, I'm so excited you like it. It's so much fun. So you guys ready for me to change your life? Because I flipped out when I found out about this product. Like, super flipped out. I think I almost scared the lady. This, my friends, is the answer to all of your travel prayers. And I had no idea. And she's not paying me. She's the one I asked for one to give away. I may have more than one to, to give away. So we'll see. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This is called a Sphinx razor. Now, this is, I remember you seeing, Natalie, oh, she watched our video then. Natalie said, oh, I remember seeing you with that. Then you must have watched our top five video, Tori Drumroll, at the show. Yeah. This is so cool, you guys. I'm going to rock your world. Hang on. Water. All right. So, this is a Sphinx razor. They have all kinds of different colors. They have a black one that has this confetti on it. They have a teal one, pink. I don't think they had a regular black one. Did they have a black one? No. Uh, saw that. Got to get one as well. I may have more than one of these to give away at different at different occasions, you guys. Because I knew. As soon as I saw this, I told her, I said, we need to work something out. Because I guarantee you, when I do my Women Wednesdays and I tell all these ladies about this, they're going to flip out. You, <laughs> Natalie, she's like, Oprah, you want a prize? That is my dream to be like a mix between Oprah and Ellen because they're always giving stuff to people. It's my dream. If I had a talk show, it's 100% what I would do. So you pull, it's about the size of a powder compact. It's really not very big, but if you pull the top off, I've already used this too to prove that it really works because I was nervous about showing it to you guys about it. So I put water in here. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's a TSA approved like little perfect little spritzer for water. Now, because my mom, the hippie, has taught me well, I would probably put essential oils in here. <laughs> I would put essential oils or like coconut oil or something like that in here because no matter what you put in here, TSA isn't going to fight with you about it because this is regular, like a regulated amount that they don't really care about. So really the purpose of this is just to slide in here and you spray it on, like whether you're going to like shave your arm or you're going to shave, you know, whatever, legs, underarms. Whatever you're going to do, this sprays really nicely. So whatever you want to use in that, use for that. Or you can always use water, dump it out, and put something else in there and travel. So you have your little turn dial, and you turn it that way. And this is shea butter, coconut oil, and essential oils. It smells so good. I used it. It's not sticky. It's not grimy. And it dries super, super fast. The best part about it is it's not going to melt. That's the first question I asked her. I said, look, I traveled in tropical parts of Asia all last year and everything melted. Will this melt? And she said no. So I may set it outside and see what happens. <laughs> Make sure it doesn't melt. But she assured me it wasn't. So it just, oh my God, you guys smell so good. So then you flip it again and you got a razor blade. And then you flip it again, and you have another one. What's really cool about this is I kind of got nervous because it's only got one blade on there, but it has guards on it. So it gets everything. This is Look, we're all ladies here. Let's just talk candidly. How many times have we missed a spot when we've shaved our legs or we've shaved our arms or whatever? Like we've missed a spot, and it's embarrassing. Well, the little guards on there keep you from missing things. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. You can see it like that. But it only has the one blade. And I got nervous because usually, like, the Venus razors have, what, four blades, five blades? Oh, yeah, Ash. Oh, yes, I remember this one. Cannot remember where to get these from. This is the Bendy Man. I have to track down. Well, don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to give one of these away. Um, but I love it. Now, what's cool about this, too, is that they have replacements. Now, I asked her, I said, okay, what happens when you need to get a replacement? She said, with your replacement, you get four new razor blades and you get another bar of soap. So that was really cool. And the replacements are only like $9. So I'm sorry, Venus razors. You're never going to see me ever again because this is amazing. It's made for dry shaving, though, you guys. So this is not one of those products that's really made for you to use in the shower. This is for those of us who are travelers where you're in a bathroom that's outside and you have to stand on your head to shave your legs or you have to do something like that, that you can pull this out and not need a shower. You can pull this and not need constant water to be able to shave with, which I'm obsessed with. So this is just the absolute coolest product of the entire show for me. I flipped out. Asked her if she would hire me. I was so excited. <laughs> I was like, can I come join the girl gang? She said no, unfortunately. Not really. They're in California. It's too expensive to live there. I don't want to be in California. But 
love these. So, so, so cute. So, I have one. Hi, Effie. She said, saw it on the top five. <laughs> this is way too cool. Saw that on the top five, Felisa. I'm telling you guys, I freaked. So I'm finding a way to partner with her for all of us ladies here on Women Wednesday for this because I told her, this is going to like change some ladies' lives. Like this is going to revolutionize some stuff. Plus she was so cute. The lady, I the girl I talked to at the show, her best friend actually created the product and they have other things coming out. They have a deodorant, like a natural deodorant that's going to come out, which I'm super excited about. It is like a Swiss army knife of shaving. Carrie, that is genius. That's the perfect way to say this. I was so excited about this. I carried it around all day when we got home on Friday because I wanted to have it when Jimmy's sister came over because I wanted to show her and I wanted to show his mom. And then I, I told my mom, I just got so excited about these because I thought, oh my God, the one thing that I complained about and stole Jimmy's razor for the second half of our trip because I didn't have anything. So now I get my own girly pretty one. So huh, I have one for you guys. They all come with this cute, like, little packet. Inside of it, it gives you all the instructions. It says, more hot than hot mess. I love. But it gives you all the step-by-step -step instructions. Oh, they have a purple one, too. I forgot about that one. But what I really love about it is it's paraben-free, cruelty-free, and vegan. And that's one thing that I'm going to talk to you guys a good bit about on our Women Wednesdays is cruelty-free makeup, makeup that's good for you, makeup that's not going to hurt you, other products that we've kind of gotten used to using all the time that are actually really, really terrible for us, that have all kinds of chemicals and crap in them. And I didn't really realize it until I traveled for a year and didn't use a lot of those things. And then I came back home and started using them and really felt bad. So that's one thing I want to focus on some on our, on our Wednesday kind of girl gang chats is that I want to sort of share what I've learned about some of that stuff with you guys because it really changes the way that you feel. So I'm going to give one away. Now, here's what you have to do to win this. I'm not going to give it away instantly here because I'm going to kind of make you work for it. So... I feel like our Women Wednesdays will have a place on Chubby and Away, but I also, my hope and prayer is that it grows to the point where we can actually start a second channel, where I can actually have a women-driven channel, <laughs> Tori, girl gang, where I can actually have a channel for women who travel, for women who may be curvy, may be bigger or not, you know, whatever your size is. I want it to be a girl zone that is size friendly. I think that's really, really, really important. And I think it's something that we all need. I think a lot of the time girls tend to fight with each other when we should be supporting each other. So I am thinking hard about starting a second channel all for all of us, for all of us ladies. So here's what you have to do. You have to, in order to win the Epic Sphinx Razor, you have to like us on Instagram. You have to like us on Facebook. Sorry, my producer's throwing things at me. At least it's pink, right? Um, like us on Facebook. Okay, like us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, and then I'm going to do a Facebook post as soon as this is over for you guys to post on. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to that Facebook group, and I want you to post what you think the name of the girl channel should be, okay? Give me an idea of what you think the name of the girl channel should be. And the person who has the best name that I love, and it's one that can't be used. I don't want it to be a name of a channel that anybody's used. I want it to be something different. We can use something curvy. We can use all kinds of different names, okay? So I want it to be an original sort of name that we can all get behind and love and kind of build into its own sort of girl power brand, right? So you get this. The person with the best name that follow us, follows us on Instagram and Facebook gets one of these. So that's what you have to do. I'll post on Facebook as soon as the live is over for you guys over there so you can start submitting your names over there. And you don't have to submit more than, you can submit more than one. I don't care. It doesn't matter. So if like you submit one and you think in a couple of hours you think of one you like better and you want to submit it again, no problem. I'm going to leave it open for three days. Okay, so it's Wednesday right now. I'm going to close it on Saturday around lunchtime. So I'll give you guys a good solid kind of two, kind of equivalent of three days. So to think about it, to kind of figure out what you like. And if you put it here in the chat box, make sure you go put it over on Facebook because that's what I'm going to pull from. Okay. So, and everybody who goes over there, I'll go check. 
if you like us on Instagram and Facebook. And if you do, then you get put in the pot for consideration for the new girl channel. So what do you guys think? What was your favorite product that you saw of all of these things? Did you like the razor? Did you like the bendy man? What was your favorite thing that you saw? I'd really love to know because that'll kind of help me with, you know, working on getting some cool things for you guys at a discount. Yay, Natalie loves it. Awesome. My mom loved the bracelets. I knew you were going to say that, Mama. Tori, you, I don't know what that means. I hope that means that you love me. So fun. Carrie likes Bindi Man. Stephanie likes the razor. These are all my favorite products. You guys are awesome. The lock for Felisa, Bindi Man, and the, and the razor. The razor, the flamingo, and her lock. She's so excited. <laughs> Ash, razor, bendy man. I'm a nurse. It would be perfect for work. Oh, that would be perfect for you for work. Love the whole thing. Love the shaver. Natalie, can we talk mascara and eyeliner in Southeast Asia at some point? Oh, honey. Yes. Yes. So are you meaning brands in Southeast Asia or what you need to bring to Southeast Asia? Because it is not that simple. Let me know. Carrie, I wouldn't be surprised if your bracelets weren't mysteriously missing. Out. Right. I know I'm going to have to hide them. She's going to steal them. My mom, the flamingo. I'm going on a trip soon. I know. Lisa, the flamingo. To where? Okay. So how long are you going to be in Southeast Asia? Because I can actually answer this for you now. Natalie, how long are you going to be gone? Or is it going to be one of those like you're moving or three weeks? Oh, okay. I got you. So my favorite mascara brands, the one that... I, I use a lot is the Better Than Sex uh, Mascara from Too Faced, Thailand and Cambodia. Those are good ones. You're going to sweat. So um, I would check that out. I would check out the Too Faced Better Than Sex. It is my absolute favorite to the point. Unless I, you're in the Middle East, it's better than love. Actually, yes. <laughs> Unless you're in a Muslim country, it's better than love. I do know that. We were in, yeah, it's <laughs> embarrassing that my man producer's like. Can we edit this out? We edit this out? <laughs> no, we're not going to edit it out. No, we were in Malaysia, which is a Muslim That's Muslim a country, life. and it's um, better than love there. Yeah. Um, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara is the best. Now, L'Oreal has one that's similar um, it's the Lash Paradise. My problem with that is L'Oreal is not a cruelty-free company, and Too Faced is. So that means that L'Oreal actually tests all their products on animals. That makes me really super sad. So um, I, I'm, I had a bit of a mascara that I'm using up, and then I'm not going to buy it anymore. Too Faced is better than sex mascara. You cannot go wrong, Natalie. I promise you. Do you have a must-buy beauty, beauty products from Japan? Honestly, beauty products in Japan, what's really funny about that is go to the Daiso in Japan. Um, they don't have a lot of makeup stores that aren't really, really expensive. But if you go to the Daiso, you can actually get, which is kind of their quote-unquote dollar store, but you can go there and they have all kinds of serums. They have stuff like placenta. They have... Um, hyaluronic acid, they have collagen, they have all of that in like little serums that you can add to like your face routine to clean your face um, at night and it's a dollar. So go there. If you're going to Japan, carry, unless you want to drop a good bit of money, if you're going to, when, when I say drop money on, you know, hundreds of dollars um, on stuff, they have BB creams, they have all that kind of stuff. So I would do that. If you're going to Japan as well, especially Tokyo, go to Koreatown. Um, and in Koreatown, they have an area, which is a street which all has Korean beauty. Now, Korean beauty is insane. And they have all of these face masks that are made of all of this insane stuff. But you can get about 30 of them for the equivalent of about $10. So I would go there and get that. I may have bought 60 of them while I was there. Not sorry. Really fun. Some of our friends that went on the cruise got some of those. I'm the one bringing your face stuff from Sephora. Oh, you're that, Natalie. Okay, this helps me because you didn't have a picture. I didn't know. So um, I didn't realize that she's buying me the Sephora like milk stuff that I've been really missing. So do that. Get the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, in terms of eyeliners, um, what's funny is Pixie at the drugstore like Target has really great eyeliner that's pretty solid. They're also cruelty free. You can also, any of the eyeliners from, um, trying to think of other, if you're not weird about cruelty free stuff, I kind of am. NARS has great eyeliners. Um, Buxom has great eyeliners. I don't know off the top of my head if they're cruelty free or not, 
but they have great eyeliners as well. Um, they're actually what I've been using quite a bit, but I'm converting to the Pixie liners because they're a bit more pigmented. But they're also about comp about the same price. Pixie, I think, is like a high-end brand that's in Target. It costs a bit more. Their glow spray is also really good. Uh, Stephanie, I'm moving to Bangkok and was wondering the same. Can I even wear makeup? Yeah, you can. I saw you putting on makeup and I was surprised that I would sweat it off. You will sweat it off, but I think using a really great spray will help. Um, you're going to sweat. You just are. I think using, um, I actually ended up buying like a scarf or um, like a little washcloth just to kind of dab with. Reapply. Honestly, one thing that would be really great unless you have problematic skin is a tinted moisturizer. For sweating a lot, use a tinted moisturizer and a powder and just reapply because it makes it so much easier. Jackie, we have a Daiso here. It's not, where are you at, Jackie? Because it may not be the same. Daiso in Japan is kind of where that originated, so it's not the same. They have them in other places like Thailand and all of that, but it's more expensive. Um, in other places, you will get it the cheapest actually in, in Japan. Carrie, oh, thank you. Headed there this weekend. Amazing. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you liked our Japan videos. That's awesome. You're welcome, Natalie. Yes, spray. So um, have you ever used like a makeup setting spray or anything like that on your face? It really helps. Um, Urban Decay makes some. Also, I think they're cruelty free. I'm not sure. But I know Pixie has one that's called like a glow setting spray. Um, it looks like it has glitter in it, but it doesn't. I'm gonna, I have dry skin, so I like my skin to look glowy. I don't like my skin to look dry, so I never use anything matte. I always use a satin finish foundation. If I use a foundation like that, I always do the highlighter. I always do all anything to, to look dewy. Um, so that's what I that's what I use, and so I like anything to make me look glowy. I don't want to look dry because then I feel like it just accentuates the bad stuff. Um, Jackie, Australia. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's good. That's a lot better choice for you than um, in Australia, for sure. When we were in Thailand, it was more like the $2 store versus the $1 store. But either way, so much better, especially because you live in an expensive place. So you're good to go. Uh, Jackie, sorry, Wi-Fi here is painful. Oh, yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you there for sure. So, yeah, I'll do a makeup video. I thought about doing kind of what I pack. Because I overpacked makeup last year, you guys. Like, this is what I learned is I packed stuff that I never used. I never touched it. And so traveling like that, you're not really going to do a full face. Like, Jaclyn Hill is one of my favorite beauty gurus on YouTube. I absolutely adore her. But she does a lot of makeup, and she wears a lot of makeup and a lot of eye and a lot of that. When you travel full time, it just does not make any sense whatsoever for you to do all that mumbo jumbo. So I'm really working on kind of downgrading what I carry and making it much more helpful for me. So I'm going, I'm going to do that. Let's please do a packing list for us ladies. I'm working on that. I need to do a packing list. I thought about showing you guys what I packed for Vegas because I actually was able to pack in half of a carry-on suitcase and I've never been able to do that. So Jimmy and I shared a small, it was my small one, like carry-on suitcase. We shared it for three days and we each had a backpack. That was it. So we've learned how to travel really, really light. So I'll do some videos on that for you guys too. Linda, travel makeup video would be awesome. I always take stuff that never use it. That's exactly what I did. I had eyeshadows I never touched the whole time. And then I had something that got broken and I was super angry about it because not only did I not use it, it got broken and I had to throw it away. So I'm also going to work on kind of packing tips that make things a lot easier for us in terms of things not getting broken and stuff like that. So I'm working on that. Yes, the packing list would be awesome. Beverly. Hi, Beverly. Both Beverly's. I'm going to change my next month, but since this is a permanent move, my packing will be heavy. Yes, your packing will be heavy because you're going permanently. But Chiang Mai, you, you'll have it. You'll have, you'll be fine. You'll be fine in Chiang Mai. Carrie, okay, eyeshadow pencil is good for traveling. It is good for traveling. You're absolutely right. You know, one thing that I actually ended up doing a lot is that I used um, an eyeshadow primer that is a champagne color. And instead of using an eyeshadow, I would just do that all over my lid and then eyeliner and I would go. It was, it's just a champagne tinted eyeshadow primer, which makes it a little heavier. Therefore it stays on your eye longer. So you don't have to worry about it creasing quite so badly for you. So I ended up doing that a lot and I'm looking at kind of different options for some of that stuff in terms of just trying to be cruelty free. Um, but that's my choice. So I'll give you guys options that aren't, um, in case that's not a big deal to you guys, but it is for me. So cool. Well, does anybody have any last minute questions? We're almost at an hour. So I'll let you guys 
I'll let you guys go so I can get the links for you guys for all of this stuff. And I can get the Facebook post done so you guys can start giving us some fun names for a girl gang group, which I think will be really fun. Any last minute questions, you guys? I'm excited the internet worked way up here. It made me really happy. Did you guys see my Buddha? I got him in Cambodia in case you guys saw that live event. He's my favorite little guy. I got the lantern in Vietnam. Huh? I got the lantern in Vietnam. And the lantern in Vietnam. You're absolutely right. Thank you. Oh, you're and welcome. also the lights are from Thailand. And the lights are from Thailand. Now Jimmy's making me be super braggy. Oh, thanks, Beverly. You're sweet. Oh, now. And the chair is from an estate sale. Yes, it will be Chubby and my Facebook page. Yes, it will be Chubby and my Facebook page. When is our next, just Pamela, when is our next trip? I don't know. <laughs> just got back from Vegas. Um, we just got back from Vegas, but um, our next trip, I don't know. We're wanting to do something this summer. Um, we don't really know what yet. I guess our our whole point while we're in the States is to travel the States a little bit. Um and just do some of that. But we've been doing a lot of family stuff lately, so we haven't really been thinking about trips. Niagara Falls. I've actually been. I was. I went to Niagara Falls when I was younger. Um, it's a wonderful place. I want to go to New York City. Jimmy's not super pumped about it, so you guys will have to help me. Um, you'll have to help me convince him. Will you do bi-weekly podcasts? Love them, by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, we skipped Monday for our podcast simply because we were <laughs> just got back from Vegas and I was deathly ill. So we did not do a podcast this week. Um, but our podcasts are typically weekly. Um, so we're trying to stick to that. Um, I hadn't thought about incorporating stuff from women into the podcast just quite yet, just cause I wanted to see how this went. Um, for us here, um, I feel like we had a great turnout and a good reception. So that's encouraging for me enough to consider another channel. So that's exciting. But um, I don't know. I'll think about, I'll think about the podcast. Um, I guess my, my long-term goal would be if I did a podcast just to do a separate one, just to make it less confusing for people who want to just kind of travel stuff. Jimmy will love New York City. He's actually been there, Effie, but oh, I've there. he's lived in upstate New York before, so I think that's part of why he has a bad taste in his mouth, but New York is one of my favorite places. Linda, thank you. This was awesome. Thanks so much. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I had fun. This is fun. Beverly, come to Phoenix next February or March. Is it really crazy, wicked hot in February or March? <laughs> I would actually love it. I've never been to Phoenix. I think that would be fun. I'm coming back for my visa renewal. So if you come to Arizona, I can be your tour guide. That would be fun. Where are you based right now? You're coming for a visa renewal. Don't hate me if you've told me. I'm trying to keep up with everybody here. No, not hot at all. Gorgeous. Sold. I don't like it when it's a thousand degrees. It's not my favorite thing. Um, we can hit Camp Verde, Phoenix. Okay, cool. Yeah. Have you ever been to Phoenix, Jimmy? No. No? Have you been to Arizona? Flagstaff. Flagstaff. I don't know that I've ever been to Arizona. Hi, you mentioned you're trying to get more natural. Are you interested in reusable? You know, I, I, you're talking about the Diva Cup. Um, I have heard about the Diva Cup. I have not used it. I have looked it up um, and I've heard rave reviews. I've heard some people that love it and I've heard some people absolutely hate that thing. So, um, I I will look into it. I need to look at that because I feel like trying to be more natural. That's definitely the feminine products freak me out. It's another thing. Um, so I'll look into it. I'll look into it and review it for you guys. And we'll, we'll go from there. Beverly, look it up. Oh yeah. Camp Verde, Jimmy. I'll have to look it up. Um, do we have Snapchat? No, we don't have Snapchat. Montezuma Castle. Oh, that sounds cool. Come to Panama City Beach. I feel like we just need to do like a U.S. tour. That would be really fun <laughs> to go all over the U.S. Um, and Canada. And Canada. We have a lot of people in Canada that want us to come up there. I really like the Mitchell Cup I have. You don't have to change it as often. I can go all day. Oh, that's interesting. I've heard lots of good things about it because it has like a suction thing or something on it. So it doesn't fall out. Now the producer is not happy he's back here, right? But, hey, this is the women's world right now, so we can talk about this kind of stuff. Luna pads or cloth pads. See, I've heard of some more natural kind of disposable things, too, so I need to look into some of those products and kind of see what works the best. Um, okay, cool. I work in healthcare. It's okay. He works in healthcare. He's not super freaked out. He's seen and dealt with all of it. Um, yeah, I liked mine, too. Uh, like mine, too, was harder to use when in Bali. Oh, yeah. 
Yes, she can swim and everything was great. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that was my next question is if you could swim in it. It would be really awkward. I can see why Bali would make it tough just because it's probably not as, it's not as, I don't know, natural or friendly there sometimes. So that's cool. Yeah, but Jimmy's been in healthcare, you carry no you worries. go to the temples. Yes, that's, that's a really good point. So Ash, one thing, I don't know if you've had this trouble in in Bali or not, but you actually, they have signs that prohibit you from going to temples and sacred places when you're on your period. And those temples are really, those signs are really old. It's from the olden days when you weren't wearing anything and people could see that you were on your period. But um, obviously you can hide it now because shh, don't tell anybody. I went to one when I was online because I didn't have a choice. So you can hide it a lot better. They don't know. But if anybody finds out, they're really upset. Yeah, didn't feel right to go. You can't go to the temples where you have to get in any water and purify yourself because they'll know. Jules loves slots. I've seen your name before. Hey, guys, I've been a fan since your journey started. If you ever get to North Georgia area, let me know. So beautiful here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've, yeah, we've, no, we've noticed we've noticed names that we've seen a lot of or, or repeat. So, yeah, absolutely. That'd be fun. We talked about Atlanta, didn't we? At one point, talked about going yeah. to see Atlanta because we had never hot Atlanta because uh, we had never been there. <laughs> I think that'd be fun. I wanted originally to go to Atlanta because Queer Eye was based there, but now the most recent one was in Kansas City, so that kind of makes me sad. I wanted to run into the Queer Eye guys because I love them. I was gonna go to the Coke Museum. The Coke Museums there. Coke Museums in Atlanta. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. Well, you guys are amazing. I'm so excited that you guys are excited about Women Wednesdays and the possibility of just having an all new girl channel where we can all be travel friendly, get along and talk about all kinds of crazy things. Uh, applying to teach English in China. Wish me luck. Definitely feel more comfortable with the idea. Good luck. It's hard. Let me tell you, trying to teach in China is very, very tough. So stick it out and just be super patient because it's one of those things you never know. Ever come to Montreal? Tell me. Why should just call us? Or talk, you know, yeah, us. send us an email um, if you have any questions about trying to teach in China. We can try to point you in the right direction. Um, it's just hard. No going in. It's hard and it's a long, long process. Um, ever come to Montreal, Canada? Tell me, Effie. We will. You know, we have a lot of people in Canada that seem to like us. I don't really know why. So we need to come to Canada and just kind of right. Vancouver, Montreal, Nova Scotia is most of where everybody is, right? Uh, Manitoba. Manitoba. Yeah. Mm -hmm. James from Manitoba. He always comments too. Um, oh, you're sweet. Thank you. I'm sorry, Natalie. You lost your signal. Ontario from Linda. She's in Canada too. <laughs> 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 Natalie's in New York. Uh, oh, man. Just Pamela. I'm in Hamilton, Ontario. Oh, my gosh. Holly K. Yes, come to Canada. They're all from Canada. Both are from Canada. That's so funny. I love it. Oh, Canada. <laughs> Oh, from Texas. We're in Texas. Natalie, South African. Oh, I want to go to South Africa. That's on our list. That'd be really fun. Carrie, North Carolina. <laughs> she heard you singing, I think. <laughs> she said, hey, in all capital letters. That's cool. So, yeah, I'm excited. I think this is really fun. I think this will be, oh, Laredo. Oh, okay, cool. A lot of, got a lot of Canadians and Southerners, really. A lot of Southern folk. Um, awesome. Well, this has been so much fun. You guys, I can honestly sit here and we can chit chat for two hours, but then none of us would get anything done and you guys couldn't do the giveaway. So what I will do is I'll let you guys go. I will put on the Facebook group about the giveaway. Give me about 30 minutes or so to get all the links for all these products up there for you guys in the description of this video. And then you guys can go pick and choose what you want. So this was fun. I'm so excited. We'll have our own, you know, size friendly, awesome little girl gang. It'll be awesome. So you guys have a great night and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>